Hey, I'm Scotty and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to sketch small groups of people in a really quick and loose way. So I'll touch on each topic as I go through this demonstration, but the full version with the in-depth explanation is on Patreon. Okay, so when we're looking at this scene, where do we start? Well, my advice would be to pick one figure and use that figure to compare all the other figures to so they look like they're in the same scene. So I'm going to choose this figure on the left here and I recommend for this sketch for him, we're going to make his figure quite small. It's about three inches there. His head will probably only be about half an inch. So now we have our figure that we're going to sketch. We have a position on the page. We want to sketch it. We have to think about those three shapes. So we have the head, the torso, and the legs. So we start with the head because that helps us with the proportions to compare it as we go. When we're comparing to the head, the torso here should be about three heads, maybe two and a half because it's got a bent. And then it goes from the crotch to the knee, about one and a half heads and then down to the ankle to one and a half heads. We can use a little bit of proportions, but don't measure it out. Just have a good guess as you're sketching these main shapes, and then we'll go back and check. So we're gonna start with the head at the top and make sure that your very loose line, we're just doing the outline. So here we're going around the top of his head like this, and we're just having a little bit of a guess where his nose is and his chin, and come down, and that's his head shape. It's very simple. Now, with one line, we're going to have a continuous line as much as we can, just lose one line. And if you make a mistake, just go back over, over the line. Okay, we come around, it comes out, his back goes like this, coming down. And I'm guessing that's about three head, and it comes around like this. And then we're coming out to his knee. So it has a slight angle this way, and we want to make that a little bit longer than a head. So that's about one and a bit. So that comes out to there, and it'll come back that same distance. To the top of the ankle there and then we know that we can draw the shoes so that will come on the end of that up here and ignore that shoe that comes in there and that's so it's just a very approximate quick sketching of the position of the body now we can draw the extra limbs so like this the arm here we can see that seam of the t-shirt comes down and the arm from the shoulder to the elbow is about one and a half heads as well so we can just compare it to that just longer than a head comes to the elbow his arm will come in like this and coming down and then his hand just outlining the hand as a shape not worrying about the fingers we can do that a bit later if we need to okay and the other arm comes in there and you can see that there's a leg that would come behind here and then the shoe pops out here now so we're overlapping lines but see how this small sketch it captures everything we can go back into the details of the face it's got a little necklace there and then we, I usually break up the face between the hair and the skin. So you can see it comes down to about the middle where the top of the ear is and then we draw that for the ear. And now with the face, we, we simplify the face into just a few lines between the hairline and the chin, go down about a third and that's where the brow is. And we usually connect the brow to the eye just in these small sketches, just like that. You can add a little bit more detail if you think it needs it. But then the nose, which we already have the nose about right there. You could just draw that shape in as well. Between the chin and the bottom of the nose, about halfway, so there's a little line for the lip. And I like to add a bit of detail in the ear, just like that. There we have a very simple figure. So you can add a few more details like the watch if you like, or some wrinkles here, the belt. Um, maybe his head isn't quite right. You can go over these shapes, like just changing it like that. Now let's sketch some things around him so I know the distance between the next figure. So I'll draw this, this uh, bench that he's sitting on in one line again. Now we have a nice context for where he is. So you can see we had the, the shapes, one, two, three, and then we added on the limbs, and then the feet, the shoe here, and the facial, just the face was very simple. To make sure this figure looks like it's in the scene, it has to have the same size, same proportion. So we'll, we'll make sure this head starts the same size as this person here. Um, okay, so, so once again, and it's about level, there and where's her head? It's so sort of slightly over the table, so I started here. Okay, so just making sure oh, she's got a nice bun. I'm trying to glance over to the other one and make sure this is similar. And there's a nose about there. It's a very pointy nose. So we've got the head shape, and then but we're just capturing that that angle and the and the position. So we want to go for the the torso now, and I know from here we want it to come down to about there. It's an easy thing to do. Go around the. It, the clothing and the bottom is there. See, I'm, I'm not going to do the arm here. I'm just focusing on that torso. 
torso shape it can split up that shape as well that's the jeans and at the top now the legs so from here it should be about just longer than a head and come down like this I'm overlapping just using that one line feel and the other leg here that's another detail we can add in we're building this figure all her legs and feet like that and now the arm so get that shape there and then the arm comes from here so that's about a head length actually about right so I'm very lucky there and you've got some hands and things going on there but we're not going we can't really see those okay and then once again we break up this this face we're going into the details more and more so we come down here see where that comes the corner right in the middle of the head that's the top of the ear top corner can add some direction to the hair and then the same here between the hairline and the chin we break it up into three so we go down about a third and that's where we put the eyebrow and then come down one line just come down to draw the eye a little shape like that sort of goes down and then in for the eyelashes and then a little bit further down like that you can draw the nose the bottom of the nose is a bit of this there and then I've done a really crazy shape here for the bottom of the face so I'm just going to go with it just put between the chin and the bottom of the nose a little line here like that it's not quite right but if you like you can add little lines little, try and change it a bit the nose is a bit putty and then let's sketch this person at the back in the back here so once again we're looking at the head they're about this, approximately the same size head and we can draw this person just a bit higher got a nice shape like that and then we can draw the torso coming down here and we can't really see what's going on but it comes behind this way and um, let's just do the arms then because we can't see the rest so a bit longer than a head length and we come in and that's the arm and then the fingers are just drawing some very impressionistic fingers like that and then let's draw the arm down this way to the elbow it's a bit longer than the head and then down all well, these details now around there it's like a little necklace and the face so let's draw the hairline which is about there we're just doing that from observation now this face we've got a lot of we've got a ni nice area here to do the face so come down about a third down to about there and let's draw the eyebrows so eyebrow like this and then go back along and the same eyebrow like that all connected in one line it's a great way to draw those features really quickly and they look good down down another third and it's the bottom of the nose so just that the shadow of the bottom of the nose and then the lips so halfway between the chin and the nose we draw a split between the lips or here our top lip which is in shadow and then a little line for that bottom underneath the bottom lip. There we have a face. Now I've added all the rest of the figures in the scene and added a nice little box around it. Let's add some watercolor. So I have a, my round 10 brush and my watercolors here with a paper towel to control the water. So we have burnt sienna and that is going to be for the skin tone. So make sure it's nice and light. And to make this a dynamic watercolor, we're gonna roughly and quickly block in the shapes here and then add another layer of shadows and what makes it also dynamic is not painting exactly within your lines it's just stroking just the general areas and making sure we leave a little bit of white for where the light is so in this sketch the lights coming this way so most of our shapes we're concentrating most of the color on the left hand side there now, side of the shape just going around back around here right on that side this is uh, ultramarine blocking the shape in there it's blue jeans and then let's let's do cerulean blues so shirt here and maybe a little bit of rose to the burnt sienna roughing them in like this and i've got cadmium red it's this pillow up there so we've got Payne's gray and let's do all the legs of the chairs a little bit in there so for this lady's dress a lizard and crimson so yellow ochre and this is just see that little bit of wood down there it has a nice yellowy look to it. this lady here this is burnt umber darker navy blue so we go Payne's gray I might go in here a bit okay so that's a very basic layer of color for each little section we've we've just put on a first coat of light paint okay let's wait for that to dry and then add our shadows so for shadows I'm going to use my favorite color for shadows is purple lake we're going to focus on making the light coming from the right here so let's start adding the shadow to the right hand side of every see his hand here has a shadow underneath this side of her shirt is in shadow in the picture. The table puts shadow on her legs here. Draw these little legs here like this, all at the same angle. Now I've done the shadows, there's one last thing I want to do just to bring this alive. We didn't want to draw all those background elements like the walls and the, the, um, 
the windows behind there. So I'm just going to use a really nice bright yellow. This is a cadmium yellow. So let's just do a really impressionistic, just add in some nice lines like this. You can go over the lines into some of these sections. So we're nearly finished, but just to add a, that final touch, which brings it all together, is some just some dark spots and some highlights. So the dark spots just help add some interest and focal point to your little areas. So for example, if I have ultramarine here, light wash, I'm just gonna just add a little layer of, of a darker ultramarine on top. Because here you can add, it makes the sketch pop. Brings your eye in so you can see that. We can use our Posca pen. So I have my white Posca pen PC1M. Then you have to think about where the light's hitting, right hand side of objects. So that's what we're looking at, these thing, where the light's hitting on this side. So I'm really happy with this end sketch with the vibrant look, the impressionistic loose sketching. I find this way a really great way to sketch people in a quick way and capture their impression of the person quickly. And the full version where I sketch the rest of the figures and do all the watercolour, that'll be on Patreon, as well as a more in-depth explanation of the all the different tips that we went through. Also on Patreon, I have a fundamentals tutorial, a full fundamentals tutorial on how to sketch people in urban sketching. If you want to learn more, I recommend you join my Patreon there and you can do those fundamental tutorials and you can join me and my really awesome community there and share your sketches and vote on polls each week on what we sketch. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.